Thanks for meeting me like this. I know it must be. <laughs> the sun is shining bright today. And yet my socks are damp from rain. Looks like there's a storm brewing. I must remember to bring my jacket. It's coat. Bring my coat. Quick, let's start it again. The sun is shining bright today. Em, this is silly. I need to know that you haven't been compromised. That you're not working for them. I'm not working for anyone. You're being paranoid. We're being watched. They're watching us. <sighs> They've always been watching us, Em. We're being filmed for TV. Not anymore. And you, you didn't sign the contract. They're actually filming me now. I, I have... knew it! You set me up to take my spot at the house! Em! 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 Stop it! Out! Stop it! Stop it! I, I, did. I didn't get you kicked out! Except that I did. If I didn't take Will's hotels to help Jack, fingers wouldn't have been pointed, insults wouldn't have been thrown, and Saul wouldn't have told everyone that Em was the mole. I contacted the producers to get them to help me find you, and they wouldn't help unless I agreed to let them film me for a while, okay? But why? Because I'm a crook and a liar and a horrible human being, and I need to clear my conscience before guilt drives me bonkers and turns me into a crazy cat lady. I wanted to see how you were going. You doing okay? I didn't realise it was that bad. Is this where you sleep? Worse. I'm staying with... with Greta. <laughs> there has to be something we can do. Can I help you find a new place to live? No! No, I'm untenable. I have no job and zero friends. The only reason I could afford to enrol at uni because I didn't have to pay rent at the house. No, this is it for me. My destiny is to live under the sickening generosity of Greta and die choking on one of her nightmarishly delicious hedgehog slices. <laughs> I won't allow it. I'm going to get you back into the house. But how? The others don't want me there and the producers won't allow it. It's impossible. It can't happen. It can and it will. Pack your bags and wait for my call. I'm taking you home. Maybe something classical for my first cat. Mittens or buttons. Or whiskers as a backup. I got a bus seat and under a tree. For all the things I'm expected to be. They say you better prepare for your day in the sun. Then I run, then I run, then I run. I'll be so excited to see you. Hey guys! Oh, wow, visitor! Oh, welcome, welcome. Uh, have a seat, please. Um, can I get you tea and coffee, or uh, oh, you know, like someone who's not? Hey, Will. How are you? Uh, I'm good. I'm. I'm good. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you for asking a question. Hey, Sol. What's he watching? Oh, uh, Judy Dench films, um, James Bond movies mainly, but nothing else. But enough about us, how are you? What's been happening? Yeah, what's been happening? What, what's the hot goss or um, uh, the telly thrilling dramatics or, you know, just, <laughs> come on, spell me your beans! Nothing really, I've just been studying for exams. How about you guys? Is everything alright? What? Yeah, of course, everything's fine. Totally fine, everything is Perfect. Nothing's wrong. Nothing, nothing at all. Nothing. Why? Why do you ask? You just seem a little, uh, out of sorts. Are we going out of our minds? 
Ever since Zem left, everything's been great. Uh, no squabbles, no quarrels or um, fights. Everything's been perfect. Just perfect, perfectly dull and totally boring. You've been the closest thing to an event we've had for two weeks. Plus, the TV was hers. Don't get me wrong. Emma's manipulation and drama mongering was completely out of line, but she brought a certain colour to the place. Well, what if I told you I spoke to her today? What? How is she? Honestly, not great. She's been staying with Greta. <laughs> Maybe you guys could let him back into the house? No way. There's no way I'm ever living with them again. Come on, Will! This place is Boresville without her. We've moved on. Why can't you? Because she broke my arm. She did you a favour. You've learnt to be ambidextrous, that's a gift. You have an option when you wank. I'd give anything. Have a substitute for all Mrs Palmer. Cramped Mrs She didn't mean to hurt you, Will. She knows she stuffed up. Trust me when I say she's really, really sorry. Of course she's sorry, she got caught. She's a big girly, she knew what she was doing. She didn't think she had a choice. Can you honestly say you wouldn't have done the same thing in her situation? What's the difference anyway? I mean, even if Em has truly changed, she broke her contract. They're not just going to let her back in. I know it seems impossible, but I think it can be done. We just need to convince the executives to bring Em back. And you're going to reason with them? People that placed an agent in the house just to mess with us? Well... The deal is to let the cameras follow you, right? So let's stop being so damn watchable. Let's go on a silent protest. Chaplain's ghost, that's genius. If we're just completely mute and boring, then they don't have a show. And then they have to give in to our demands. And we haven't broken our contract. This is it, guys. This is how we get M back. Who's in? I am! Me too! No, whoa! Who's... No! What's going on? I don't want him living here, that's it. Then why won't you look at me? You know why. No, I don't. The blackout? The Monopoly game? I basically declared my... large amount of like for you. To you. And you haven't talked to me for two weeks since. It's complicated. I know it's, it's really stupidly cliche, but right now we need to concentrate on getting Em back into the house. After we've done that, I promise we'll have this talk and I'll explain everything. Promise? Cross my heart. One thing, why are you doing this? You don't live in the house. Em being gone doesn't affect you, so why are you trying so hard to get her back? You guys are my friends. And so is Em. I just want you guys to be happy. And that's it? Yeah. That is it. <laughs> okay, so how do we do this? Well, we want to make a statement, so we'll need some dramatic flair.
Mm. Guys, it's over. Mm. You can take your tape off. Our plan didn't work. Wow, it was Chopper. <sighs> chopper, guys, you remember? Oh, yeah. In fact, it completely backfired. Our show only airs in strange foreign places like Japan and New Zealand, so I had to go online to check our ratings. No wonder we haven't heard from the execs. Our viewership has totally skyrocketed since we stopped talking. I knew it. I mean, the artist had to win an Oscar for some reason, right? This is it. Talkies are a fad. There's no way that we can be more entertaining after we've stopped talking. <laughs> Actually, that, that is pretty funny. <laughs> why, why is Sol's chest all blurry? Oh, that's a legal thing. There are certain images that they can't or don't want to show on TV. In this case, I think it's his um, Ghostbusters t-shirt. They don't want to show the logo. No, it's not. That's not my Ghostbusters t-shirt. That's my t-shirt with that guy giving that girl a but while the third person that watches from outside is um, that that's that shirt. Yeah. Could be. That's it. That's that's how we beat the studio. We have to go beyond not being heard. We need to not be seen too. Wait, are you suggesting we recreate Soul's shirt and get ourselves blurred out of the show? Cuz if so, what the hell are we waiting yes. for? I bags the guy with the. No, 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 no one. We want to be censored, but no one is for anyone. We just need to to cover ourselves in imagery that can't be seen on a PG rating. So does anyone have a porn magazine or whatever? Ah, oh, what is that? What you guys think of me? Yeah. Oh, porny McGee over here. Perfect. Pull out all the pictures and canvas yourself in them. Jen, I need you to cover yourself in as much disgusting and offensive language that you can think of. Uh, think Gordon Ramsay meets South Park. Right. So, oh. if you have any less than legal substances, now is the time to bring them out. I'm not talking about wearing them. You need to be using drugs on camera or our plan might fall apart. I knew this day would come. Oh. <laughs> Oh, oh, sorry. <laughs> Will, go to the pantry and encase yourself in as much branded packaging that you can find. The more iconic, the better. Alright, what about you? That leaves graphic violence or gore. I'm thinking something red. Any ideas, Sam? Have you seen Carrie? You guys look perfect. This is gonna be great. Where's Sol? Coming! What? You're supposed to cover yourself. I only have a couple of grams for recreational use. What do you think I'm gonna get caught with possession intent to sell? No. So I was gonna have anyway, I'm covered in head to toe in hemp. So they can't they can't even show this on TV. It doesn't count. Why doesn't it count? Here, look, take this. I don't wanna wear that. Why doesn't this count? Wear this. Trust me. I don't wanna wear this. I've got something, but just wear it. What do you think? Wow, Jack, I always thought you were a massive cock. This is just... Yeah, I know you're impressed, Will, okay? But just keep yours in your trousers, all right? Why do you even have this? Because this, my friends, is the ultimate party outfit, all right? This bad boy goes with any theme. Greek mythology. Cyclops. Sci-fi. Flesh-coloured lightsaber. Feminist. Envy. Abstract, yeah? It works. What about a letter-themed party? Like L? Lady Lance. Z. Z Zipper Trout. X. Excalibur, but without the E. See? Unbeatable. Two. Too many parties on one night. A flaccid penis on TV isn't actually um, a big deal anymore. Probably like an er a erected penis 
is less likely to be shown. <laughs> okay, okay. No worries. How's that? Much better. All right, let's do this. Whoa! Whoa! What are you doing? It, it's just animal blood. But you're vegetarian! Does it look like I'm eating it, Will? No! Do you want Em back in the house or not? Go and put the rest of your costumes on. <sighs> oh. <laughs> Blood. Do you th think it's working? Well, that didn't take long. Lily Jemima Sitwell. It's a pleasure to finally meet you. What the hell is this? It's all right, my dear, you're in a safe place. A place where we can negotiate a truce. Please forgive my boys. They can be a little rough sometimes. So what, you're like the show's director or producer or something? <laughs> you could say that. You've been causing some serious headaches for us, Lily. Your little protest has thrown the network into quite the tizzy. Well, the tizzy can end any time you like. You know what we want? Yes, indeed we do. And you can have it. You win, we surrender. So tell me, what's become of my room? Em! Em! <laughs> How was it, living with Greta? Oh, it was horrible. It was like living in a cell with Martha Stewart. Em, I'm really sorry. If I'd known I would have put you through that hell, I would never would have done it. Hey, Chopper. Don't worry about it. No. I'm back now and that's all that matters. <laughs> I just want to thank you guys for giving me another chance. And for really fighting to get me back in the house. I know it was quite a struggle. Yeah, well, you know, when I put my mind to something, amazing things do happen. But, um, if there's anyone you should thank, it's, it's Lily. It's Lily. Wait. She was the one that got the ball rolling and you know, it was her idea to put everyone you, in the... You just called me Lily. Yeah, well, it's your name, isn't it? Oh, yes. TV! Sol, give me your hand. Oh, oh yeah. Um, Miss Palmer has been away from Mr. Xbox controller for too long. Can you guys first? Yeah, I'm going to start. Oh, we can watch a movie. Em, you can pick. What movie do you want to watch? Oh, I've got Pan's Labyrinth on DVD. Oh, yeah. I love David Bowie! What? <laughs> what? Will. Are you joining us? Uh... No, I'm not, I'm not, um... I'm not feeling too well. I, I, um... Yeah, um... Yeah. What are you doing? I promise you a talk. Yeah, well... Now that lover boys finally acknowledge that you're actually a human being, I'm pretty sure I know what you've got to say. So, save your breath and go and have fun with the others. You really impressed me this week, though. What? By being the world's most convincing doormat. For swallowing your pride and forgiving it. It can't have been easy for you. Do you think... Can you forgive me too? Forgive you for what? On the first day of uni, I met a great guy. Who... Was genuinely interested in me. And it felt good. So good that I wanted more. And I got greedy and stupid and then made one of the biggest mistakes of my life. For months I've tried to convince myself that Jack saw me as more than just a cheap thrill. But all I did was push away the one guy who actually cared for me. 
I'm sorry, Will. I'm sorry I hurt you. I'm sorry it took me so long to see how special you are. I've been selfish and a complete idiot. But do you think you can give me another chance? Well, uh, it's possible, but, um, You win. We surrender. You mean? Yes. M can return to the house. On one condition. You agree to work for us and become the new mole in the house. <laughs> You've got to be kidding. How do you think the other housemates would react if they found out that you were the one that sabotaged the Monopoly game? You wouldn't. If someone did that to me, caused a mess and didn't fess up when it turned sour, I doubt I'd ever want to see them again. What do you say? Do we have a deal? Good girl. Now, once everyone's reunited and everything's back to normal, you will go to Will and you will initiate a romantic relationship. I can't. Will's a nice guy and all, but I don't like him that way. Well, you don't have to like him. You just have to be convincing. 